Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So, newsflash, you can join my channel for 99 cents a month now to receive access to my community tab. So go over to my membership tab on your desktop computer and sign up for your members only perks. You'll see all the goodies there, okay? Access to shout outs, um, replies to comments that you make, things like that. I'm making that private now. And um, that will only be for special members. All right, Virgo. So this is a Virgo channel. If you're new, please do subscribe and do consider signing up for the $9.99 a month um, where you can get early access to my videos and other goodies. All right. So let's see what's going on. This is going to be a quick reading. So already you're starting with the four of wands here. Oh, and the star. Okay. Aquarius energy for some of you. So it looks like there's a healing in a relationship happening here for the rest of this month and during this retrograde for sure. Uh, there might be a wedding or um, a celebration, somebody in the public eye, somebody who is having faith or faith being restored. There's a renewal of a family situation or a commitment or somebody's getting married. Somebody's like, this star looks like one big fat diamond. So either someone's giving it or receiving it, but this is beautiful. This energy is beautiful. This is lovely to start out. There's stability, a foundation being built on faith and trust and growth. Somebody, Virgo, I feel like you're gonna be glowing. You're gonna feel like you're going to be glowing here. Let's see, what else is going on here? Okay, Queen of Swords. You know, yesterday you had the King of Swords, now the Queen of Swords, there's definitely air energy, male or female, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. There's communication. Somebody's giving you some truth. Okay. Well, that's a, that's good. That's good. Oh my goodness, the Eight of Wands. Wow, are you getting communication? Or someone's, you know, traveling to see you during this retrograde. Or there's good news coming in for you here. Look at that. Somebody's proposing or telling you they want to, that they're in love with you. Okay. <laughs> You're getting that love call, that love offer that, you know, someone's really like in admiration of you. They want to marry you. They want to be like happily ever after yours truly. Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Six of wands. This is like victory. Wow. <laughs> Somebody's coming in here to win your heart, Virgo. Somebody is showing up to win your heart. Here you go. Six pentacles. So you have two sixes in a row. Yeah. Uh, wants to give you everything they have. Share the wealth. They want to share. They want to share everything. But this really feels to me like there's a renewal happening here in spirit, in hope, in faith, and also in a connection, a love relationship, a marriage um a restoring a restoration of a past relationship somebody showing up here let me see yeah keep its arrows okay now we have the queen of pentacles so it could also be an earth sign male or female energy okay um virgo taurus capricorn there's a lot of reciprocity here between two people for sure there's a there's just this communication coming in and I feel like someone's trying to bring balance and structure and stability back to a relationship but also make some kind of an offer a love offer a proposal give you their heart seriously yeah it this is actually going to be happening during this retrograde I feel that very strongly let me see I feel like I want to pull a few more cards here. Give me a second. What else is spirit trying to tell you, Virgo, during this retrograde? What else is spirit trying to tell you? Okay. Yeah. Decision being made. Wow. Somebody's already decided. It's already done. It's decided. You are for them and they're going to let you know about it. They're going to let you know. Either it's a renewal of a past type of a relationship, or this is like a, a new beginning happening here or that's going to renew your faith and hope and love 
in love okay there's a, just this person I feel there might have been a stalemate or you might have felt like there was a stalemate in your love life like nothing was happening nothing was moving forward you're you know by yourself blocked blocking you might have blocked somebody or somebody blocked you and there's an unblocking that's happening like I said with the star this is the only major arcana and this is a renewal this is having hope again okay somebody is very hopeful about this connection this relationship wow and very positive so we have the, st the sun and the star beautiful this is like they're giving me um hold on wait now let me try this person thinks about you day and night you are on this person's mind if you know them or if they know you okay you are on this person's mind day and night wherever they are wherever you might be on different sides of the world like right now it might be um either day or night and where they are it's the opposite so if you're if if right now it's night their time zone like it's day okay and if it's night for them your time zone is day okay so you might be at a great distance to each other this is leo energy as well so i feel like oh yeah that's what i was saying i just heard okay i've never seen this before in this card but i am feeling like i'm getting the numbers 111 as i'm looking at the clock it's either 1101 somewhere or it's 111 I don't even know what the time difference would be. There's something to do with a clock here. I'm just looking, or it's like one o'clock. Like these are the hands, the arrows on a clock, I'm just feeling, and look, then we have a moon here. Yeah, there's something coming in from someone. The bell tolls during the 1111 where this decision is getting made, and then it's like a yes. Somebody's saying, yes, I want to be with Virgo. I want Virgo. I'm in love with Virgo. So yeah, there's some truth coming out. Somebody's definitely going to be reaching out during this retrograde and giving you clarity about how they feel and what they wish for. This is the wish card, what they're hoping for, how things can go with between the two of you. So there might be a lot of messages, a lot of communication. Um, there could be a lot of travel back and forth between the two of you or one going one way and vice versa. Okay. Hmm. This is beautiful. This, this feels like success with the sun. This feels like how children feel. It's, it's a very joyful kind of energy with this person. Okay. Yeah. This person, and it feels like it kind of relates. This feels like a... <laughs> The episode number two of yesterday you know uh, the nine of wands is here this you have been on this person's mind and they have been strategizing and trying to think about how to do this and this is how they're going to do it I feel like this person is just going to come in and express how they feel about you tell you that they love you they admire you they keep think they can't stop thinking about you you're always on their mind um just a, a very like movement and expression of love movement and expression of love okay so let's get see what some of your love messages are here for this situation love messages what are the messages of love for virgo oh just gaming just being near you is intoxicating so yeah this person seriously when they think about you it's like they're drunk it's like drunk in love it's like the dopamine hits this person constantly thinking about you they just get this these good feelings whenever they think of you whenever they see you whenever they look at you all right let me say this is lovely <laughs> This energy oh my goodness yep I want to tell you how that, how I feel so I feel like this person's gonna come in and express how they feel about you for sure they're going to tell you like I said they might even tell you that like 
they're intoxicated by your love. It's not, it's not bad. It, it, it's not like fully drunk. <laughs> it's not like um, they're, I don't know that they're blacking out on you, but I feel like it's that first taste of us, of your favorite food. Okay. That, you know, the palate responds like they're, they're, they're thirsty for you. Their, their palate is <laughs> like, they want to taste all your flavors. <laughs> they want to taste you. They want to taste all your flavors. Okay. So maybe you walked away from this person if you knew them. Okay. They felt that. They definitely felt that. Don't think for two seconds that this person, they might have acted like they didn't care. No, they cared very deeply. Um, they felt that big time. Here we go. New love, new love recommitment to love developing again here we go so this feels like a secondary from yesterday <laughs> maybe some of you let go of that sunday energy and you're moving on um, i don't really feel like this is that evil that was lurking on sunday you know that devil energy i'm not feeling that at all okay um there's a spiritual lesson here that you've been learning yeah, you've had some radical acceptance and you've been letting go. And I feel like that letting go energy is giving someone cause to actually think about this connection, think about this relationship. And so I feel like it's very beautiful. It doesn't have to be that the, the, the negative person you were that you're reconciling with here or that's reaching out to you. This could be someone, another person. And it feels like it could be a little bit of a surprise for you because you may have forgotten all about this person. Like it was just now, nah, we're not meant for each other. Go your separate ways. Or maybe you're just friends. And then it's like, oh, wait, I didn't know you had feelings for me. It's that kind of thing. Okay, let's see what the Chinese signs are. All right, yeah, again, you're the tiger starting out. Okay, you're of the ox. Okay. Oh, the ox is here twice. Now we have a rabbit. Okay. Year of the snake. Year of the dog. And year of the rat. So I don't know if these were, I don't think, I think tiger was the only different Chinese zodiac sign from yesterday. Okay. I'm just going to do two more. Year of the pig. And we have rabbit again and you're the monkey yeah these are all a little bit different so hmm very interesting all right let's see who's showing up here all right gemini of course virgo sagittarius taurus okay um somebody's birthday is september 16th so happy birthday um if you have okay somebody's born in 1987 i'm getting highway 101 is that a highway it's like a road 101 okay um also i'm hearing 131 and oh they just now they gave me another road i-80 i-80 okay let's see Okay, now they're giving me the numbers. Oh, 214. That's Valentine's Day. Okay, very interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, um, September 6th. Picking up September 6th. I don't know why. Why is September 6th significant? It is, or it was. And also... Um, September 13th was that well let's see yeah September 13th the birthday happy birthday September 13th and I'm also picking up there's a Virgo Scorpio um, connection as well I'm just seeing it here okay there's Scorpio and there's Virgo a Virgo Scorpio connection all right, let's get some charms and see what your charms are. Oh, you got a skull and crossbone. Again, yesterday you had a spider, so spooky season for sure. 
spooky season okay i don't feel like this is poison maybe you're thinking of a halloween costume or you just saw a skull and crossbones somewhere I, this isn't a warning so don't worry about it don't like sweat it unless you want it to be a warning then it's up to you what the hell is this okay so that's a dragon and then we have two hearts two of hearts two hearts to be as one okay so dragon you're the dragon this almost looks like um, a chinese dragon i'll show it to you but i don't think you're going to be able to really make it out because i can barely make it out and i see it so maybe you can tell it's kind of like up on its hind legs yeah so something to do with the dragon it could be the chinese sign dragon would be a double message um maybe you have a pet dragon like um a bearded dragon or there's some type of connection to dragons in some way or maybe you see one or something could be like a pokemon dragon or something along those lines all right so i'm going to leave your messages there these are the short quickies for the week and then towards the end of the week um i think sunday i'll do like a super super long reading for you guys to set the tone for the, the following week but i'm going to try to do all these 15 to 20 minute readings going forward and i might even do one for friday as well um okay so don't forget check out the membership page again if you just want to join for 99 cents a month so you can take part in my community tab um to get shout outs and all that stuff and communicate with me you definitely can um i just want to make that all private for members only you don't have to you don't have to it's completely up to you you can also join the channel for 9.99 a month and that will give you early access to my readings during the day if you don't want to wait late at night and that will also give you access to badges certain emojis and will also give you access to um the facebook private group that i have okay and you'll just read all the perks that you will receive make your decision but if you don't want to donate or anything like that just watch the ads that's how you donate to my channel when the ads come don't click off just watch them through and that is a big help and also subscribe that helps too all right you guys so i'm gonna leave the reading here and i will see you all tomorrow happy birthday virgo take care